Thanks for pulling out your pocket, Ronnie. We're going to be doing parallel lines um, on a graph. The one thing to remember about parallel lines, parallel lines have the same slope. Okay? You can see if I had a small graph here and I had lines, all those lines are parallel and they all have the same slope. They are all angled the same way. Okay? So looking at 9A6, the problem says we want um, parallel to this line. So if parallel lines have the same slope, we need to put this equation in slope intercept form to be able to determine the slope to know. Uh, what the slope is, what the line that's parallel to it, what its slope is, okay? The only way you can see the slope of a line is when it is in slope-intercept form. Right now, this is in standard form, and it needs to be changed into slope-intercept form. For more detailed problems on how to change it back and forth from slope-intercept to standard, uh, see the videos on that. So right now, this is in standard form, and it needs to be in slope-intercept form. Slope intercept form is in the form of y equals mx plus b, which means y is on one side, everything else is on the other side. So we need to get y on one side and everything else on the other side, which means we need to move our 4x over. So then we have 3y equals, we cannot combine x's and whole numbers, so we have our negative 4x minus 6. We cannot leave that three there. We want y all by itself. Y on one side and everything else on the other side. This is being multiplied. Three y implies being multiplied. So it has to be divided in order for that to go away. In algebra, whatever you do to one thing, you have to do to everything. So if I divide this by three, each one of these has to be divided by three. So now our threes cancel on the left. So we have y equals, don't forget your negative, negative four thirds, x, a negative 6 divided by a positive 3 is a negative 2. So now we can see our slope is negative 4 thirds. And so if we want parallel to this line, that means all of our other lines have to have a slope of negative 4 thirds. So we look at a, we have y equals 12 ninths x. Okay, this is the 12 ninths is our slope always reduce, but the main thing to look at is we want a slope of negative four-thirds. This is a positive slope, so therefore that's not the same slope, so that is not parallel, okay? Now we look at B, and again, in order to determine the slope, it has to be in slope-intercept form. This is not in slope-intercept form, so in, to get it into slope-intercept form, we have to divide by three, we need to get rid of the 3 in front of the y. If we divide that by 3, we have to divide every term by 3, which means this would be y equals negative 4 thirds x. 0 divided by any number is still just 0. You don't have to write the 0. You can write plus 0, but having nothing there is the same thing. So we can see that this does have the same slope. We're looking for slopes of negative 4 thirds. So, so far we know that is parallel. Now we look at C. Again, this is not in slope-intercept form. It needs to be in slope-intercept form so we can see what the slope is. So we need to get rid of this negative 2. So we divide by negative 2. If we divide that by negative 2, we have to divide everything by negative 2, which would give us y equals negative 5 halves x, and negative 8 divided by negative 2 is a positive 4. Our slope is negative 5 halves. That slope is not parallel or not the same as negative 4 thirds, so that is not parallel. So the only one that is parallel to the equation that they give us is B, because we were looking for slopes of negative 4 thirds. Okay, now let's go down here to 9D6. That problem says, draw a line that is parallel to y equals 1 fourth x minus 3 while passing through the point 0, negative 1. Okay, we're talking about parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, okay? Here is our slope for this line, 1 fourth. So in order to be parallel to that, we want a slope of 1 fourth as well, and we want to go through this point. 
0, negative 1, remember that's our x coordinate, that's our y coordinate. Okay? I'm going to do this problem two different ways. First, I'm going to do it by graphing. So, to draw a line, they want us to graph it. So, I can plot my point 0, negative 1 on my graph. So going down here, I want, I have a point of 0, negative 1 and a, a slope of 1 fourth. So when you have a point and a slope, you plot your point first, okay? 0 is your x value, I don't go anywhere in my x direction, and then I go down negative 1. So there's my point. Now I count my slope. Slope is rise over run. So I go up one, and then over to the right, one, two, three, four. And that is my line. If I graph my original line, my original line is y equals one fourth x minus three. Graphing the original line has a y-intercept of negative three, so it's going to cross one, two, three down here at negative 3. Count my slope up 1 over 4 from the y-intercept. Up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can see that if I draw my lines straight, in my ideal world, those lines would be parallel. They have the same slope of 1 fourth. This problem can also be done by calculating. You can find the equation of the line you will learn it this way in lesson 11, but I'm going to go ahead and work it out now. So in lesson 11, you learn how to calculate the y-intercept if you have a slope and a point. We start with the general equation of the line, y equals mx plus b. We know a y value from our point. We know our slope right there, 1 fourth, and we know our x value from our point, and the only thing that we don't know is b. So we can substitute in all these values. My y value is negative 1, my slope is 1 fourth, my x value is 0, and I don't know b. Okay? 0 times anything is 0, so negative 1 equals 0 plus b, so negative 1 equals b. That was my y-intercept, which tells you that the equation of this line parallel to the original line is y equals 1 fourth x, that have, have the same slope because they're parallel, and our intercept is negative 1. Let's see if that matches what our graph is. Remember, here's the original line of 1 fourth x minus 3. The new line parallel to that will be y equals 1 fourth x minus 1. And so the new line of y equals 1 fourth x minus 1, having a y-intercept of negative 1, that is true because it actually gave us that point. So that does show that they are parallel.